ever going to tell Tony about us? No! I couldn't possibly tell him! Not now! Why not? Don't you think we'd all get along better in the end if you just Please, told him? Max. For me, it was important that this was a story about uh, a woman who was kind of uh, victimized by everyone around her. A week after I received a note, it told me what I had to do to get the letter back. Go on. I was to draw 50 pounds from my bank in five pound notes and then change them for used one pound notes. It said if I went to the police or told anyone else, he would show the letter to my husband. And so I wanted to kind of have a place where we were uh, kind of complicit in that, in watching her and looking at her. So we put her bedroom on stage and we placed it in a, a beautiful plexiglass, clear walled space. And it's become kind of her little sanctuary she can go to where we see her have her, her moments alone. Uh, at the same time, in keeping with that sense of voyeurism, we built a ledge around the space so that we're peering in, as opposed to, you know, a traditional the theatrical set uh, is more about uh, uh, not having that wall there for, for us. But we have a, a hint of that wall, so it feels like we're watching something we're not supposed to. I began to wonder what would happen if she left me. I'd have to find some way to earn a living to begin with. Suddenly I began to realize how much I'd grown to depend on. All these expensive tastes I acquired while I was at the top, and now Big Tennis had finished with me and so apparently had my wife. No, it's not a whodunit. Can't ever remember feeling so scared. It's a why done it. And so the, the joy of the play is watching a very uh, evil, sort of conniving mind put together a perfect crime and then watch what happens when it begins to unravel. There's been a ghastly accident. Yes, sir. A man has been killed. I think this season really uh, is very much about women and men, you know, and uh, uh, all the sort of ways that uh, that, that can be sort of good and, and bad. Um, and it's about women who, who make choices or, in Margot's case, women who are denied the opportunity to make those choices. I couldn't say anything. Two men were on the floor with the tape measure. Another was outside, opening and shutting the window. Margot is one of my favorite sort of female characters from, from British uh, dramatic literature of the 20th century, and that, that she is so defenseless but she kind of finds a way, particularly in this wonderful performance by Letitia Lang, she's, she's found a way to really fight back a little bit. And then Tony is one of the sort of great uh, masterminds of the theater. You know, he, he is watching the mind work is such a, 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 a thrilling thing that keeps us on the edge of our seat. You see, if they got the idea that we had delayed reporting it for even a few minutes, it might have started asking questions. So, you want me to say the same thing? I think so.